Morning Chantilly. I'm Kaylin Rowell. And I'm Eli Ehlers. Today is April 22nd, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an 8A with LS 8 and 1. Boys Varsity Tennis plays versus Madison High School on Friday, April 23rd at 4 p.m. Next week is Staff Appreciation Week. The PTSA is asking that you nominate someone that has influenced you the most, someone you admire, or someone who you think is a great member of the Chantilly family. Your vote will give that staff member an opportunity to win a prize donated by someone in the Chantilly High School community. Voting will take place from April 20th to 23rd, so please vote with a Google form in your email. Join us for the fundraiser at Mod Pizza to support the school newspaper. Mention the Purple Tide while placing your order. Be there on April 26, 2021 from 10.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the Greenbrier Shopping Center. Help support girls field hockey from 4 to 8 p.m. tonight at the Fair Lakes Chick-fil-A. Be sure to mention Spirit Night in the drive through or mobile order. Earth Day is celebrated annually on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection. Here are some public statement and announcements created by AP Environmental Science students to teach you more. April 22nd is Earth Day. There are many things that you can do as a student. You can help recycle more often, and by recycling the proper materials. You can also use reusable containers. This can help limit unneeded waste. Last but not least, we can conserve electricity. This can help reduce carbon emissions. Help protect the Earth. It's our home, so you should do your part. In other news, did you know that enough plastic is thrown away each year to circle the Earth four times? That's crazy. Well, did you know that 2.5 million plastic bottles are thrown away every hour in America? Let's go to our local correspondent, Adnan Rohemza, to learn about how we can improve upon these recycling habits. One way we can recycle better is by donating materials we don't need rather than throwing them away. This can be done through sites like Free Recycle and Recyclers Exchange. Also, when going shopping, commit to taking one bag with you rather than using the plastic bags at the store. Lastly, when given a choice between a recyclable and a non-recyclable product, always choose the one you can recycle, even if it costs a little more, because the value of preserving a healthy planet far outweighs any monetary sum. Whether it's paper, plastic, or metal, it's estimated that up to 75% of all waste can be recycled or repurposed, a figure that shows just how impactful recycling can be if done right. First, one of the most important materials to reduce is plastic. An easy solution for your plastic consumption is opting for a reusable grocery bag rather than opting for a single-use plastic bag, which are actually becoming banned in many parts of the world. Secondly, make sure what you're recycling is clean, empty, and dry. Food waste is one of the greatest problems affecting recycling. Also, make sure you're not recycling food, liquids, straws, plastic cups, and plastic dishware. Last but certainly not least, with more and more people opting for online shopping, keep in mind that you can recycle all clean paper and all clean and flattened cardboard boxes. Celebrate Earth Day by enacting these small changes into your daily recycling habits. Reporter A. Himalayan has information about an ongoing holiday that millions across the world are celebrating right now. Muslims all over are currently celebrating the holy month of Ramadan. Here are some of our Muslim charges to help explain what this month is all about. Ramadan is a month of spiritual cleansing that Muslims all across the world participate in. Every day from the break of dawn till sunset, we abstain from eating or drinking anything at all. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor, have a high status. During Ramadan, everyone who is mature and healthy participates in fasting. During this month, Muslims aim to increase their faith and become closer with God, as well as focusing on self-improvement. Muslims wake up before sunrise to eat a breakfast called suhoor, and then later, they'll break their fast with a dinner called iftar. There is also an optional prayer during Ramadan called tarawih that is usually held in mosques. For Sahuud and my family, we eat eggs with the bread and some fruit, and then we just drink lots of water. And for iftar, we have samosas, gulab jamun, flan, biryani, and a lot of variety of foods. Uh, what I eat for Sahur is I make myself scrambled eggs and then drink like two bottles of water. And then for iftar, make sure to have like a banana milkshake or something and then some lemonade with water and then eat whatever my mom makes, which is a variety of foods. My family and I used to go to Tarawi pre-COVID, but now we read Tarawi at home. 
And we also try to finish the Quran during this month and try to make more good habits. Mosques are obviously social distancing and not allowing as many people in. So if we can, we're going to try to go on the weekends. But for the most part, we're enjoying it at home and just deepening our faith more by reading, praying. My favorite part about Ramadan is it teaches you discipline. Like you can't just go eat whenever you want. It makes you feel for people who are less privileged than you are. I feel like people think that Muslims dread Ramadan because of the whole fasting experience. But I, I guarantee you, there is not one Muslim who doesn't look forward to Ramadan. Ramadan is such a beautiful month and we're all looking forward to it every single year. Don't forget to wish any Muslims you know a happy Ramadan. This has been AMLA and For the Nightly News, now back to you. The Movie Dudes are back to talk about new superhero TV shows and films. Good morning, Chantilly. I'm Jameson Brewer. And I'm Stuart Lund. And, and where are the, the movie dudes? dudes? WandaVision, a Marvel miniseries that recently swept through every family's Disney+, Plus, features two of the Avengers' most recent additions. It pits Wanda against two antagonists, director Hayward and Agatha, all while facing an internal struggle dealing with her guilt. Director Hayward isn't very distinguished from other characters in similar stories. He fills the evil suit in charge role. Unlike Hayward, Agatha does a lot more to further the plot and dive deeper into Wanda's character. When the show manages to focus on the conflict within its titular characters, those are the times when it is at its best. Wait, what am I still doing here? The vending machine. No, no. I've already got the vending machine. I don't need you anymore. Well, no, that's just great. I need another movie, dude. Did someone look straight replacement? Who are you? Justice League, Snyder Cut. It was four hours long. Yes, you heard that right. Four hours long. And surprisingly, it wasn't that bad. In case any of you don't know, the original Justice League was released in 2017. But its original director, Zack Snyder, had to step away late into production after filming. Joss Reader finished the film, but tried to make it more Marvel-esque. The new film goes back to Schneider's original dark and gritty style. I don't have a problem with the team as a whole, but Batman is, doesn't have much to do and is kind of useless. When Superman comes in, he completely outshines the rest of the team. But overall, Justice League is definitively not bad. Finally, the most recent Marvel miniseries, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, is an ongoing tale that takes place just after the blip, like WandaVision, centered around Sam and Bucky's mission to stop a group of super soldier terrorists. So far, the show has a strong beginning and set up for an impactful climax. And it's definitely a break from the more interpersonal story of WandaVision. It goes back to the standard Marvel quippy action. And that's all we got for you today, Chantilly. I'm Jameson Brewer. And, and I'm we're the, the movie dude. We're the movie dudes. Signing <laughs> off. Now back to you. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Kaylin Rowell and Eli Ehlers reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you next LS.